With the paint peeling, cracking away like this, then the chances are it's either down to paste or in this case this radiator has been emulsioned see that dark colour underneath there that's emulsion paint so all around the radiator all this is happening um, I'll show you how I'm going to get around that with a screwdriver I'm just going to go around these edges and find where the paint's bubbling or cracking. Not everyone will be doing it. That's one there. Is I can use a Stanley blade and just cut that shave hook I'm gonna go around all these edges and just take it back to anywhere where it's tight off and you want to get yourself some grade 40 sandpaper which is quite um, rough stuff good for stripping eating through this um, gloss work and getting into this uh, emulsion paint as well so keep it to a system I'm just doing the top edges first swapping and changing too much you just start on the bottom of the fins and just again work to a system and you really you want to get the edges of this paint feathered back on a section because I've already completed this side so um, what you can is just work the whole radiator taking in all the bottom edges 
because you're going to work with a small piece of sandpaper and you can come back up to the tops the same piece and work on these other edges So then once all these edges are done, just start on these flats. I'm putting quite a bit of pressure on here because I really do want it to get through, eat through this gloss paint. Bottom flat. So then now starting on the insides. spot that's not quite come off Just give it a general rub over the, the faces of these fins. So and then now you can drop back to um, a grade 80 and then these edges just give them a quick resolve just any deep scratches just tuck out of them. Back to before, I think. I'm just going to quickly 
So, I'll give it a good dust back now. Again, before you start doing any scraping, then what you can do is wash your radiator first, get rid of any grease and dirt and muck that's on, because obviously any paint that's remaining isn't coming off, and you want the sandpaper not to clog up. primer starting on these bottom edges why I'm using this bin primer is because it'll eat into the emulsion, it'll eat into the gloss work and will seal the emulsion paint. Straight down. There you have it, ready for whichever finish is required. So the bin primer will eat into all that, like I say, and stop it from cracking off again. Mm -hmm. 